If you want to record with one of these, into one of these, or one of these, in this video I'll show you how. USB microphones are a straightforward and easy to set up way to record your vocals, guitars, or whatever you want really, into your iOS device and garage band. How you connect a USB microphone will depend on what model of iPad you have. If you have an iPad model that features a home button, you'll be connecting your USB microphone of choice via its lightning port. Therein lies the problem. Most popular USB microphones output to a USB-A port. This blue Snowball Ice USB microphone, for example, comes with a mini USB to USB-A cable. That isn't going to fit. That's where this adapter comes in. This is Apple's Lightning to USB adapter. It has a Lightning connector on one end and a USB-A and Lightning port on the other. Attach the USB-A plug from your microphone into the USB slot on the adapter, then plug the adapter's Lightning plug into your iPad's Lightning port. If the app is open when you connect, GarageBand will recognise that you've attached a microphone and ask if you want to turn on monitoring. This allows you to hear what the microphone is picking up, so you're going to want to turn this on probably. This message also mentions that wearing headphones is best to avoid feedback. That's the horrid screechy sound that happens when your speakers output the same signal that's been picked up by your microphone. On iPads that have lightning connectors, this isn't an issue. Just plug a pair of headphones into the headphone jack and you'll be good to go. Apple removed the headphone jack from iPhones way back in 2016, so if you plan to use a USB microphone with your iPhone, you'll need to consider other options. You can connect Bluetooth headphones to monitor your recordings, though even GarageBand considers this a bad idea, as you'll have a message pop up warning you about latency when you connect. Another option is to pick up a USB microphone that has an onboard headphone jack that will allow you to monitor your recordings that way. This blue snowball is a great budget USB microphone, its ability to plug in and play is really convenient, but it does lack a built-in headphone jack. Other USB microphone options that you may want to consider are the snowball's bigger brother, the Blue Yeti, or something like this, the Samson G-Track Pro. Not only does the G-Track Pro have an onboard headphone jack for low latency monitoring, there's also built-in controls for more flexibility and a noticeable boost in sound quality compared to more budget-friendly options. All of that comes at a cost, however, as unlike the Blue Snowball, the G-Track Pro isn't plug and play. If I attach the G-Track Pro in the same way as I previously attached the Snowball, GarageBand throws up this message. The G-Track Pro is a hefty bit of kit and, as such, requires more power to operate than a Lightning-based iPad or an iPhone can provide on its own. This is where the Lightning input on that USB adapter comes into play. If I attach a Lightning cable to the input next to the USB-A input on the adapter, and plug that into the mains, the G-Track Pro becomes usable, allowing me to record audio into my device using it. If you have an iPad model that has a USB-C connector, the process of attaching a USB microphone is much more straightforward. You will likely still need an adapter, but your choices are less limited than with Lightning-based iPads or iPhones. Pretty much any USB to USB-C dongle will allow you to hook up a USB microphone. From super simple adapters like this wee one, to more robust hubs like this one from Anchor. Whatever adapter you use, it's simply a case of attaching it to your iPad and then plugging in your USB microphone. iPad models with a USB-C port also pass through enough power that you won't need to add any extra juice to use Meteor microphones like the G-Track Pro. You'll find links to all the gear I've mentioned in this video down below the like button and let me know if you plan to record using a USB microphone in the comments while you're there. 
if you'd rather record yourself using an audio interface with your iPad or iPhone but aren't sure how that works, watch this next.